Hi everybody, I'm Miss Ashley, the Youth Librarian at the Port Charlotte Public Library. And today I thought I would share some of my favorite Halloween reads. If you're looking to build a Halloween reading list, look no further. So we're going to start with kids. For our chapter book readers, we have Mary Downing Hahn. Anything by her is scary. All the Lovely Bad Ones is one of my favorites though. It's a ghost story. And um, she has a great way of setting the scene so that you feel like you're in the horror and you just want to keep the lights on while you're reading this. Very good. We have K.R. Alexander, another really good horror um, fiction writer for kids. So you can see that they're little thicker chapter books. Uh, they're, they're pretty scary. And to find the scary books in our section, if you're looking for horror in the kids section or any of our sections, you're looking for our horror sticker. It's Frankenstein and it says horror on the bottom. So that'll be on the spine label, easy to find. Another one I really like isn't necessarily horror. It's more mystery, but um, it's the Carolyn Keene series, um, Nancy Drew. Carolyn Keene has a way of just setting the scene so you feel like you're in the horror movie. And uh, she always had jump scares for me too. I was always like, we're we gonna look around the corner. Are we gonna see something? We're we gonna go crawl under the bed or under the staircase or the, the broken clock. Those ones were really scary. So um, if you enjoy mysteries mixed in with your scary, of course, Carolyn Keene, Nancy Drew. Can't forget Goosebumps, right? We all grew up loving Goosebumps. The kids love them. They have everything from the trash pail kids to the dummies. The dummies scared me all the time, oh my goodness. And I did not like being scared by the dummy, but there was also the ghost stories, the dolls, the, the creepy, slimy creatures, the blob, that's it, the blob, and so many other things. So R.L. Stein has some great Goosebumps stories. Check them out. Here's one that is actually on our Sunshine State readers list. It is Fright Nights, The Haunted Mustache. So anything in the Fright Night series is going to scare you. This one is more of an early chapter book, I'd say. Um, not a transitional but more of uh, second, third grade. And uh, third, third to fifth grade, it says. So it's thinner, has more pictures, larger text, easier to read. The scare factor is lower in this one too, because you got a bit of a mystery. And it's not, go it, for the kids who can't handle too scary, this is the perfect one. Now, if you can't handle scary at all, but you still love the Halloween theme, Skull Cat and the Curious Castle is super cute. I love cats, I love skulls, and I love scary, but not too scary. So this is the perfect one for you. Has all um, color pictures, and the story is just super cute. So check that one out. If you're looking for something a little closer to home and you want it to be scary, look for The Dark 30 Southern Tales of the Supernatural. This is an award winner. We've had it for such a long time. It goes out constantly around this time of year. So definitely check it out. It has the black and white pictures. It's got great tales of horror right here in the Southern United States. So check those out, very interesting. And they have a historical aspect to them. So you're like, could this be real? That makes it even scarier. And then again, if you don't like too scary, but you like the Halloween aspect, or you just like stories about undead things and stuff, you could check out the Bone series. I love it by Ghost, uh, by Jeff Smith. This one's Ghost Circles, and I'll open it up so you can see it's all color illustrations, and it's just a great supernatural fun story. So you can check that one out too. Then we have another graphic novel series called Creepover. And this one amps up the scariness a little bit. And you've got full color throughout the whole thing. Really beautiful illustrations. I don't know if, see if I can get a monster so you can see the difference. There's cobwebs all over the place. This one's a bit scarier. So not like Bones or uh, Skull Cat. This one amps up the scare factor a little more. So um, all of these books are available at the Port Charlotte Public Library and your other libraries, and um, they're ready to be checked out. So please do want to see what you have stored up for your reading list. Comment below and let me know, what are you reading this Halloween? Happy Halloween!